What's up traders? This is Marco. It's Friday the 30th of June and uh, please don't wonder I'm recording this while I'm traveling. So today I will not make a bar by bar but I give you a quick overview of today's trading day and um, so far you can see here in front of you this is the 2000 ES tick chart. This is the ES future and we are trading pure price action and the only indicator that we are using is the EMA, the 21 EMA and this is the day so far. Um, I will zoom in a bit so we can go through the potential trades and interesting areas so that you can get an idea of where to look and I will um, as usual uh, blind this out on the right side a bit so we can um, play here with the price action. So around 7 in the morning um, I'm coming to the PC usually and this morning I saw that prices were trending up strongly above the EMA here. We're not getting any pullback. Um, so this shows me that there's very strong bullish momentum and then finally here we get a pullback and this is also how I found this channel here. I took this low and just connected the last swings um, and found this uptrend channel here and you can see this uptrend channel is um, pretty much valid because it got tested here one more time and also the midline looks pretty valid to me. Um, there is no setup here if you um, looked at it and maybe consider because this is only a first entry. If this ticked higher here, maybe then we have the uh, new high first entry, second entry long. Um, the signal bar would be quite okay. But as I said, at this point, I didn't have this channel. So I uh, just found it from the swing here and um, yeah, played from there. So um, yeah, if you consider this trade here, then maybe if you ha had this channel earlier, um, this is a potential. But yeah, prices bounced off the EMA and off the key entry point here, going higher, testing one more time the key entry point of the channel. And you can see uh, from the size of this bull bar, um, how prices got rejected here and we are going higher. And right now, we're just waiting what's going on. You can see there is some range coming here. So nothing to consider. Also, we are not back to the key entry point. The key entry point is our trend channel and the EMA. We are in no man's land pretty much. So we are waiting here and you can see how strong bullish this is. Maybe we can make a, a measured move here. This is the first leg then this is the second leg. So this could be here. A potential target so we keep an eye for that and you can see prices are respecting this target and bouncing off here so right now we are approaching the key entry point of this uh, channel and also this is the opening of the trading day you can see this in the change of color of the background and we're breaking this green uptrend channel here for the first time now and after a break Usually we see a retest of the highs of the structure and the retest would be around this level. And you can see here there's a green arrow now. This is the first trade that I took for the day. And um, I'm telling you why I like this setup. Because we had this first break here um, out of this uptrend. And after a break we see a retest of the highs just as mentioned. Also we have this range here working and there's a breakout out of the range and you can see this very strong bullish bar here coming back inside the range so this is a fed break lower and we are finishing above the EMA there's enough space here back to the highs so basically what I did I placed a limit order a few ticks back and I was hoping that prices come back and fill me and they filled me and we got our scalp here and then we saw a higher low and um, in my opinion this higher low was also okay to take. It's also a second entry long. If you consider here this is a 
double tap so you can reset the count so you have a new high here first entry pull back second entry long by the way let me um write the setup here fail break lower and we have after that a potential second entry long but please consider at this setup there's not too much space here to the highs so um it was a bit risky going long here also we're pretty far above the ema so it's not really a good place to take along because you have some additional risk but still we didn't retest the highs and there is uh, some potential room that we go higher here so um, if you didn't take this fail break lower here then there was a nice chance to take the second entry long and yeah you can see uh, the same reaction that um, i expected we went higher here and we had a bounce of this range resistance so there is some resistance here in play and if you don't have enough space to get a scalp here then there is a chance that prices will pull back and test the ema again because we are still in some mini range here you can see this um well not too good because the colors are uh very light here but you can see this range here and um yeah this is the risk if you don't have enough space that um, prices are rejecting here on this uh, top and getting um, back to the EMA. So, yeah, consider this always um, if you take a long here. But prices go higher here, and we have a retest of the highs. So, this uptrend played out, and um, then I found some potential spike and channel here, and this is a second trade that I took because I saw this high here, first entry, and then we have a pullback second entry. I agree with you if you say that this is a congestion, but you have to also notice the role of the EMA. Whenever prices are coming back to the EMA, then you can see a bounce of the EMA. So prices coming back, bounce, prices coming back, bounce, Price is coming back, bounce. So the same I expected here on the second entry long, uh, right off the key entry point, EMA, and also uh, spike and channel here. First, um, I had a different structure. Let me draw this. First, I saw it like this here. So I thought, okay, prices are um, going higher here and uh, this channel, this green uptrend channel played out. Uh, so maybe we now develop a different structure, a more flatter structure. So there was a potential here. And I also respected the re uh, reaction on the EMA. So this was another potential. I must say more aggressive because you are in congestion here and you are in a range. So if you don't recognize and if you don't see that we are in a strong uptrend um, context so that prices are going higher, then um, yeah, better don't take this. Because pretty much on every pullback, you can take a long and strong uptrends and you will see they will work out. Um, so I will mark this here as well. But yeah, more of an aggressive setup here. So we are bouncing off this EMA, going higher, bouncing again, nothing here, only first entry, uh, going higher, put my shorter term um, trend channel here. And now we're moving sideways. So I was looking something similar what we had here, um, if we get something um, similar here. But you can see prices going sideways. There's not really a signal bar. And um, on at this point, I found this spike and channel, how I drew it. And um, yeah, but there was no setup here. Um, I was looking for a triple test, something like this, or second entry long, right of the key entry point in EMA. But uh, yeah, it simply didn't happen. So all I did was uh, waiting here and see how this plays out prices go higher another 
test of the EMA, but I'm not sure if you will see, but we did not really touch the EMA key entry point. We are flying a bit above it. And by the way, I want you to notice one thing when the EMA and the key entry point of the channel, so the, the trend channel are aligning with each other, the same what's happening here. You, you can see it's basically identical here that this is one of the strongest um, potential support and key entry and uh, key entry point area that you can find because you have two aligning um, important measurements and when prices are getting rejected of this is normally a strong um, reaction after that uh, but here i couldn't take anything because we were in congestion again and really there is absolutely no space here to um, the highs so i better skipped it whenever you're not sure then we are skipping and prices went higher and finally we broke this channel here for the first time you can see this channel is working lower breaking here no retest so i was uh, careful um, but the first break of this um, spike and channel so we want to see a retest of the extremes which is uh, represented by this line here so we want a retest of this uh, level here and we got this retest so by now there could be that this uptrend here played out because we had a break and uh, a new high in place so right now uh, my bias is pretty neutral i'm not looking specifically for longs and i'm also not looking for uh, shorts I just wait and see what prices are doing if price is giving me some structure and we have some trend working lower here first break retest of the lows so this shorter term channel here played out and um, if you consider either this or this i think it's too risky because you're right in congestion and you're uh, below the ema if this for example ticked a bit higher at or around the ema or this one here then maybe um, as long as there is no clear uh, low here in place but the thing with this we had a tiny break here and already new low so if you extend it for example like this then we have the first break and no new low here in play then it would be worth considering but as i said we want to see this close to the ema and not flying uh, down here because you can see there is some kind of support coming up here prices are uh, trading in congestion and whenever this is um, yeah we're staying out prices made a new low and uh, we're bouncing from here of course this range uh, i didn't had at this point so prices are going higher trending higher and pushing strongly here above the ema and we had this shorter term uptrend working higher but first break and you can see coming uh, like a green arrow is coming here because we had a high here so we have a first entry pull back second entry and look at this very nice bullish bar here so this is a very great trade this is a second entry long and also the context fits in my opinion because we had this very strong push higher we had the first break and no retest of the highs yet so there was enough space for a retest of the highs so i really like the second entry long here also um, this can be seen as a higher low um, above the ema and just look at this very beautiful bullish bar so yeah this setup here played out as well we made a new high and then if you consider this i think at this point it's too risky to take along because we had a new high here in play already and if you draw like let's say a range here then you can say uh, you can see going long here directly into the highs would be very risky because there's almost no space to scalp out so um too late here to enter along we had a new high it looks congestive here so better skipping this yeah and um pushing another time higher also congestion here at this point um really nothing to consider and i think 
I started to um, test a bit um, with some ranges here. So what I did, I was uh, drawing this um, kind of channel here and I saw that it could fit nicely here. The midline is fitting. Also, we had some tests here of the range top and this range low here was just made a few minutes before. So I was playing with this range, but I was also not sure if maybe the range looks like this. So yeah, I just um, played with this and um, kept doing and observing this one here. Then we had a strong push lower and I think this was pretty much where we started. And you can see with this push lower here, um, prices formed another downtrend channel here with already a first break in place. Let me draw this maybe correctly. Um, it's hard to find a good channel here. Uh, usually I'm getting it from the highs. So if I take it from here, then these are the first touches of the channel. We had the break and retest of the lows. Let me extend this. So the shorter term channel here played out and then we found some support here around this level. So I'm moving the range to this level here because you can see clearly that we find some support at this area uh, for the first time here. Then we're trending a bit higher, um, finding resistance here and then going lower. This is a typical behavior of the range when you go back and forth within the range. So that means uh, when we're going um, back and forth between the range top and the resistance here. So um, this was the case. So maybe this channel here after all is valid with a first break, retest of the lows, or maybe the break here. Um, not sure, but um, I can tell that this channel here uh, should be played out. So we are not looking for lows specifically. And there is some potential setup or there was at least because you can see prices bounced off this range low here and pushing strongly above the EMA and then forming this higher low here on a very beautiful bullish bar. And we expect once prices um, cannot break through this level here, we, ex we, we expect prices to go on the other side of the range and test this area here. So um, unfortunately we missed this right now, like few minutes back, um, but this is a potential setup here. If you draw a shorter term channel um, like this, or usually I'm drawing only these um, uh, lines like this here, then you can see prices are pushing higher, pushing above the EMA, having a pullback here. This is also the first break of the shorter term channel, uh, first break with a retest. So there is a potential setup here and um, we want to see a test of the other side of the range. This is what we expect of prices to do next. So the context is fitting here. Um, so if you saw this trade maybe um, then and you took it, then congrats. I like it. And um, yeah, it's right off the key entry point. And yeah, that's the trading day so far. Um, I don't want to make it here too long. I will zoom out here so you can see the whole day at once. As I told before, uh, interesting areas are the key entry point and EMA here. But of course, we need some decent signal bar. And um, yeah, we had some signal bar here, then the second entry long here. This one here more aggressive because we're in congestion, but I saw the reaction of EMA and prices. Uh, no setup here, then no potential triple test and no good signal bar here. Congestion going higher, first break, retest of the highs. So this uptrend played out and from there we waited and see what prices are doing. Um, yeah had a drop lower here, break new low, drop, uh, then push higher here with a second entry long right of the EMA, no retest of the highs. So we spoke about this, then retest of the highs and 
the same way down again. So that's why um, we are in a range mode here, maybe even like this, if we take the lows here and the highs here. Then this push lower, um, unfortunately no setup here. If you consider this, I think it's too far below the EMA, cannot take. First break, we test of the lows, finding support here, and yeah, we just spoke about this. So yeah, that's it. That's the trading day uh, so far for today. Um, I hope I could help you and give you some idea of what where price is doing. Of course, the trading day is not over yet. There's still a few hours, but for me, it's late in the afternoon. It's uh, 6 p.m. here, uh, so I want to wrap it up. And also next week there's a holiday. So I wish you a great holiday. And of course, I hope that you had a great trading week. And um, yeah, speak to you next week.